What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about Call of Duty. I've been doing a lot of Destiny. I've been talking about Destiny. Everybody's been talking about Destiny and today I'm going to pull back a little bit to give you guys a taste of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare news. Now we know Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is looming. In the next few weeks people are going to start having this game in their hands. It looks like a very fun experience and they just announced a new co-op mode called EXO survival that looks like a lot of fun it takes the typical horde mode of gears of war and puts a spin on it and it makes it pretty exciting and today i'm going to show you guys some footage of exo survival and i'm going to explain to you what you can expect from this new co-op mode exo survival is a four player co-op mode which allows you and three of your buddies to get into the game and take down waves of enemies this mode can also be played two player split screen which makes it great for people who like couch co-op. As I said, this mode pits you and your crew against infinite enemies from grunts to drones to ravenous attack dogs to exosuit wearing equals and even mech suit wearing goliaths. And these goliaths can self-destruct so they're very dangerous. It takes place on all the multiplayer maps. So you will be able to play this mode on all the multiplayer maps on Advanced Warfare. Unlike Gears of War's Horde mode, there won't be a boss every 10th round. Instead, you will be given random objective-based rounds, like collecting intel from fallen enemies in a certain amount of time. Finishing these objectives will earn you upgrade points. Exo Survival is designed to make you and your team think. There will be rounds in the game where you will have things like sentry guns dropped into the map, and they will be trained against you and your teammates. Your systems can also be hacked, blurring your view briefly. You can even be stuck with a limited amount of weapons for a round, motivating you to succeed, as there are penalties for failures and rewards for victory. You have three classes to choose from. Light, which is a faster loadout with less firepower. Heavy is a slower class with the most bang. And Specialist, which lies right in the middle. Having all three on a team will greatly benefit you, as the different styles will be helpful in tough situations. You will earn post round upgrade points to use. Find the upgrade station on each map to quickly utilize this feature to improve your exosuit. You can use these points to improve your armor as well as increase damage done by your weapons. The enemies in exo survival mode are so smart that Sledgehammer is reworking the AI in the campaign to more evenly match the quick thinking AI in the co-op multiplayer. As a side note, the highest wave that their test team was able to get was wave 65 so just think about that this AI is definitely hard and is going to be very challenging like an extinction mode on Call of Duty Ghost you will be able to revive fallen teammates as long as they are down and not out matchmaking will also be supported as well as private games so you will be able to get a particular team of people together your buddies you'll be able to do whatever you want I think that this mode looks really fun I think it's going to be a really great time I'm, I'm kind of excited to see how well or how smart this AI is because that's one thing that really gets me excited how smart is the AI I think the AI in Destiny is fantastic uh, I, I've heard some people say that the AI in Destiny is not up to snuff I totally disagree I think that the enemies in Destiny <laughs> they're smart as hell uh, and, and they react to what you're doing they react to you throwing grenades they react to their health being low they react to being outnumbered and I think that you know as we progress in this gamer gate things are actually going to get better and better and uh, from the sounds of things the the AI in this new Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is going to be stunning and, and if I can play a game and I'm playing against artificial intelligence that seems to be able to think and, and you know come up with conclusions and, and make suggestions and, and react I think that's when gaming just goes to a whole nother level. I think that's when the uh, evolution of gaming goes to another generation, when it goes past the graphical fidelity and, and it goes into the thought process of the actual artificial intelligence. So I'm really excited to see that. I'm really happy about matchmaking. I'm really happy about private games. All this stuff needs to be included at day one. And uh, I think that they're going to do it. There's been a lot of games that have come out recently that, you know, touted big talk and came out and flopped and failed and I think that they have Sledgehammer has a lot riding on this I think that they know that a majority of Call of Duty fans were a big a big number of Call of Duty fans are down on Call of Duty at this point and uh, 
wanting something new or tired of the same old thing, you know. Uh, I don't want to buy this game this year because I'm going to run around and do the exact same thing. I think that Advanced Warfare is looking to be that paradigm shift for the Call of Duty brand. Um, it appears to be everything that's that's fun, you know. Uh, there, there are elements of Titanfall in it, there are elements of Crisis in it, there are elements that that make games fun. Um, and uh, they're doing it right from, from the look of things. They're doing it in a, in a way that appears to be enjoyable. And uh, it looks like enough change to uh, quench the thirst of Call of Duty fans who have been looking for a change. And uh, it looks close enough to Call of Duty to hold the old school Call of Duty fans like myself and like Briar Rabbit and some of these other guys uh, who've been into Call of Duty for a long time. So I'm really, really excited about this. I think this game looks stunning. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for you guys to see the entire trailer uh, with with full audio and everything. You guys should definitely check that out. This game does look photorealistic. I couldn't believe it. At, at some points I had to pause it to make sure that I wasn't going crazy, that I wasn't seeing things. Because this game, especially during the cutscenes, looks so real that it looks like real people acting. It's Kevin Spacey looks almost photorealistic and, and the other characters in the game look real. And uh, to me, this is next-gen for sure, as far as the graphical fidelity of this game. Now, if they can match the fun with the visual aesthetic, this game is going to be a hit out of the park. I think this will be, could potentially be, the biggest game of the year. Um, it, it just might be. It's looking really fun. I'm liking the modes that they're, they're uh, announcing. Uh, the game looks fast. It looks like it controls well. Uh, this this double jump looks like it works well. I mean, they've taken elements of Titanfall and, and, and worked them into a game that actually has a story. It has multiple modes. It has tons of weapons. It has, a, a, supposedly, I, I like to hope, a great campaign. This looks like the campaign is very exciting. In that trailer, you're going to see aspects of the campaign that we haven't seen before. And it looks like it's going to be a hit out of the park. Uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is looking really really good and now this exo survival mode is looking to be something that even for people who don't like to, to, to do the typical you know P versus P or you know if people who don't want to do the competitive multiplayer this is something for us for people who'd rather get in there with their buddies and take down waves of enemies that aren't stupid like zombies this is going to be absolutely sick and I'm really excited about it you guys be sure to sound off in the comment section below what you think about Advanced Warfare's Exo Survival Mode. I know it's not zombies, it's something totally different, but let me know what you guys think about it. It's possibly only one mode, they may be announcing something else, they may be trying to overkill, they may be trying to do something on a grander scale, so we'll just keep our eyes open for that. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and show some support, and if you guys like this content, please hit that thumbs up button. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.